Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Moon and uh, Rising monthly tarot reading for uh, June 2019 and just bear with me a second guys to shuffle the cards and we can go straight away uh, to the spread. So uh, the first card, which represents uh, the uh, Capricorn's topic of the month, that is going to be uh, the strength card. Followed by the second one, which represents the peripheral activities Capricorn can go for, should they find them appealing or they can completely skip, so completely situational card, that will be the page of uh, Pentacles. The third card that we do have that will be the challenges that you Capricorn have to overcome th throughout the month. That will be uh, the Magician. The fourth one, uh, which regards to the positive aspect of the month, um, or, or what is going to help you there, that will be uh, the Six of Wands. And then the last one, which is the guidance itself that Saro offers to you for throughout the month, that will be the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so once again, um, we have the strength card as the topic of the month. The second one, which stands for the peripheral activities here, that will be the page of one, uh, the page of pentacles, excuse me. Afterwards, uh, we do have uh, the challenges that you need to overcome, Capricorns. That will be the magician. Uh, the next one is going to be uh, the positive aspect. That will be the six of wands. And finally, what we have, it is the uh, guidance that will be the nine of pentacles. Okay, so uh, this month is going to be a quite active uh, month for you. And that is due to the fact that you're going to have something like a, um, like a muse or excitement there to follow. Um, now, the thing is, however, Capricorns, that uh, by uh, the summarizing of those cards, uh, it will be difficult for you to truly follow it or rather like to incorporate yourself into it. But not with, but uh, as it is difficult to do so, not impossible that is. Anyway, uh, going now to the cards one by one uh, of the positions, uh, I hope that I'm going to make my uh, points more clear across. So the first one, it's uh, the strength. And uh, the strength points that this month, uh, it will require from, from you to persevere through patience. And that is due to the fact that um, there are going to be uh, enterprises or endeavors, for example, a business deals, you know, or people that you can hang out with and et cetera, et cetera, which are to be quite passionate, you know, and um, they will be quite something that is okay but in the same time you may start losing uh, your temper when it comes to that and you may over uh, overperform let's say that way or kind of like um, um, overkill the situation 
So uh, what the strength really urges you to do here throughout the month is to persevere through patience. Just do not be, uh, do not make those uh, kind of like a, uh, a, a premature actions when it comes to tackling with people and as well when it comes to uh, dealing with a project. Nonetheless, uh, quite of, um, almost every uh, kind of like an e enterprise that it is presented to you throughout the month is going to be faced with quite a lot of, of passion and enthusiasm was the word that I was searching for from your behalf, which is a, a sign that this month will be rather quite ex uh, exhilarating and quite exciting. And it seems that you as well are going to have no regret whatsoever for all the time spent for throughout the month. Now, one more thing I want to say about the strength card is that you, uh, your, your actions are going to speak louder than words. So you should not waste your time trying to uh, express and um, not, not express, but um, yeah, express yourself and convince others around your points of view or around the, um, the justification that stands behind your actions. But instead, you know, allow your presence and your performance to speak for itself. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the sun card. <clears throat> And the formation it is a active uh, supporters that we do have so the sun adds in and as a shade of energies of tremendous growth that you are to have here monetary success that you can chase you know uh, a harmonious flow into one's relationship recuperating cur cur uh, certain relationships and natural unfoldment of one situation this is going to be a, a very positive month for you capricorns only if you if you are capable to tame your temper all right just do not outburst okay and do not judge the day by its morning because the, the the evening can uh, present you with much different circumstances much more um, beneficial circumstances that is but with the sun card uh, it is important that you don't slack if you know what I mean that you are eager to take a participation that you are eager to take the initiative uh, for throughout the month because other way uh, other way around uh, people will give you a hard time you know allow, uh, aligning uh, with your expectations and that's why like I said your actions needs to speak louder than your words the next card that we do have uh, Capricorns that will be the peripheral activities like I said and uh, the page of Pentacles is quite baffling to me as uh, appearing into this follow-up of cards and the only thing the only couple of thing uh, things that I can think of of the page of Pentacles is either this is going to be a friendship which is traversing into more romantic stages all right or that is to be a, a um is, is you say, are you saying a pledge? It's not a pledge, appeal, excuse me. Or this is going to be an appeal to try to help on someone that is uh, having difficulties, you know, to cope with their, uh, with their agenda. Uh, the accompanied card here, that is going to be the justice. And as the justice falls into that place, the formation it is a passive enemies. You definitely need to pass on this one. You do have more important things to do okay uh it's simply what the justice here points is that that is going to be just an, an additional responsibility of your behalf which you don't have the luxury of time to put into at this specific moment but as a peripheral activities you don't have to burn all the bridges toward it either i mean that you can postpone it further into the future for the next month for example for the month of july it is just uh tell to that person that appears as a page of pentacles that right now, not that you do have more important things to do because this uh, kind of like uh, looks like that you are undervaluing them, but uh, you know, you first need to deal with some private businesses before you can actually um, um, kind of like uh, be able to afford to give them a, a full attention of, uh, of your behalf. The next card that we do have that is to be the challenges and we do have the magician. So uh, quite of a strong challenge actually Capricorns for you to uh, overcome because the, the magician points that as soon as you jump into, the, uh, into those exciting endeavors, you know, uh, with uh, a determination and with eagerness, there are to be those who will want to steal those things from you, points as the magician. Now the magician as a challenge 
uh, in your follow-up, it does mean that there, are, there could be those who will try to put you uh, in, a play, in a position of being a victim of the circumstances. Therefore, uh, the challenge here itself is going to be you to withstand your sovereignty, to withstand your independence, to withstand your determination, or rather like the, the, the justification that stands behind your, um, behind your actions. One more sign here that trying to convince with words those which are around you is going to be rather extremely futile with the magician. This, this card into that position as a follow-up, it does point that your communicational skills, although it, they, they could be in a very uh, supreme stage, and it's just there won't be anybody there to listen to your wise words. So that's why you shouldn't waste any time or breath, nor breath, excuse me, for that matter, to try to convince anybody. But just, like I said, allow your actions to speak for themselves. The additional card here that is to be the full card <clears throat> and the formation it is a uh, active supporters once again. So um, uh, yeah, unfortunately the fool here as a shade points that, uh, how can I display it? You may, your, um, your assessment over human nature could be clouded. Meaning that you may thought that someone that uh, is associating with you, you know, or socializing with you, it's a very nice and gentle person, for example, and very sincere, while uh, along the months you find out that they are actually very surreptitious, sneaky, and they have uh, nefarious intentions um, on their mind in regards to you. So you have to be very careful with these cards whom you are placing your hopes at, all right? That will be the challenge here. And uh, what is at stake? It's your innocence. The innocence of your intentions. I mean, not physical innocence, but the innocence over your intentions. Just think about it. You know, a project comes around at work and you do are seeing and, and you are seeing that project as a, a very good opportunity and you eagerly jump into it with a huge amount of determination and passion that is with, uh, what was the word, with enthusiasm. Okay. And there is also someone else who is working on that project, which presents themselves as a very gentle person, as someone who is always ready to, um, to help you in this kind of stuff. And uh, along the month, actually, what they are doing, uh, in reality, it is a um, trying to sabotage it. Okay, so uh, you, you look like as a um, completely incompetent and... Um, incapable person to deal with the project. So once again, be careful whom you are placing your hopes at. Uh, as well, these cards here are pointing that as a matter of fact, whatever endeavor you jump into, it should be only yours to take, all right? You should completely, completely avoid a cooperation and, uh, you, you know, kind of like cumulative uh, experiences uh, when it comes especially to a career for throughout the month of June. The uh, next card, which is uh, the positive aspect of the month, that will be the Six of Wands. So uh, Six of Wands points the people uh, or those who are to assess you and to assess your performance are going to be very pleased of it. As a matter of fact, that card points that as soon as you start performing, either career-wise or relationship-wise, that is, you will start immediate, immediately receiving a, uh, a reward, all right? And also this card points that throughout the month, a, a severe breakthrough, either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship, is going to be established. Because the Six of Wands, it does represent that peak of experience that everybody is aimed for, that everybody is straving for. But this, this card goes even beyond that, guys. This card points that as soon as you reach the crest, the summit, you know, of, of your goal, that seemingly was your goal, you will see that what you did until this very moment was just conquering the slope of a mountain. And once you are on the top of this mountain, you are to see that there is so much more to conquer and you are completely capable to do so, which means that the work is far from over. You know, the benefits are far from done, are far from exhausting. It's just you need to keep on uh, doing what you're doing, that is, and stick to your original plan. The accompanied card here, that will be the uh, Knights of Wands and uh, the formation it is a uh, active supporters and the Knights of Wands only strengthens the uh, the statement here that um, 
whatever you initially um, thought that can come out from either your project or from your relationship um, uh, basically is just a, a drop in the ocean and you can't go for so much more should you keep on pushing into uh, into the same direction so before we go to the last card uh, just to give you a few examples here uh, let's say that you are single guys and um, suddenly you get introduced into someone throughout the month of June all right so this card points to this introduction and this um, empathizement is going to be faced by a lot of uh, enthusiasm by, by both of you and probably uh, on the f uh, throughout the introduction you are going to exchange fo uh, phone numbers and you're going to set up a, a date okay while in the same time you may have someone else who demands your attention which appears to be as an, a, a very uncomfortable additional responsibility that you will have to carry on so uh, as an advice to this card, you should rather, you know, tell to this person that it is currently, you know, trying to get your attention, you know, uh, that comes as a, um, as a distraction to just hold on and keep, keep that endeavor on hold until you actually deal with your personal stuff. And uh, from there, the magician is going to signify that that person which face you as an enthusiasm are having another one that face them with enthusiasm so this another one will try to sabotage your work or will try to sabotage your datings uh, which means that you should not brag about um, <clears throat> brag about that you are dating with that person as i said you need to allow your actions to speak louder than your words and uh, from there, you know, you may thought that this dating is going to be just a dating while along the month you are seeing that this thing quickly develops into something more and its potential is yet to be truly unfolded. And so that uh, leads us to the last card. That is just a one way of how these cards could manifest for uh, you Capricorns. So uh, lastly, what we do have, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, and that is to be the um, Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles as a, gui as a guidance points that you will have to aim to face everything, aim, I mean, if capable, to face your endeavors with your own personal efforts. Additionally to that, the uh, Nine of Pentacles points that this month is going to be about a conquest, all right, and not about finalization, meaning that this conquest is going to be most likely over something new or is going to be a, a field that you have yet to explore uh, as in an option available into your current um, goals and achievements. And um, the Knights of Pentacles also points, this is a completely general interpretation here, that should you, um, that it is best to focus upon material gains throughout this month Mean, meaning that you should leap into your business endeavors, into your career endeavors, and aim for a, a salary increase, monetary increase, you know, or uh, a, a promotion, that is. And the last card that we do have here that is accompanied by the uh, Nine of Pentacles, it is a the Five of Cups, and um, <clears throat> as a combination, this is a, a passive friend that we do have, and it means that, um, how can I display it here? Well, it basically, um, it's very difficult that the, the boundary is very thin that these cards are forming. What I mean is that it will take multiple tries for you to actually become successful as you are pushing that endeavor on your own, that relationship, for example, on your own or that business endeavor on your own. But eventually, should you be determined enough you know, you are to do it the way you want to do it. It's not just, you know, achieving one thing or to make one thing. It is about making what you want to make the way you want to make it. And it looks like that this is going to be your month. You are going to do that thing. And like I said, you will receive the rewards from it and the recognition as well. As well. So Capricorns, it looks like that the month of June is going to be a month for of uh, the month for you that will demand great deeds from your behalf guys slacking is out of the question so yeah that being said this was your monthly tarot reading i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, i hope that we're going to see each other around until then bye